under the truck is just like even now saying it was like vivid image of it just going straight through my face like I could just see his your foot hanging down with your sock hanging off and your clothes were all ripped up and you had a big gash in the side of your face it was horrific it was It was nothing that you could prepare for or to really have to brace yourself to have had to go through the trauma aspect of... Uh, it affected me quite personally because the one thing you want is for your child to be healthy, self-sufficient, and able to take care of themselves. Um, well, the first time the phone rang and Erica and... Dequatia was screaming in the background. All I heard was just chaos. I heard Dequatia screaming that Erica's arm was open. And um, what I remember about the car accident was I just remember being scared, like terrified. I remember um, I was on the phone and I just remember hearing and feeling the loud hit. And after that, I just, all you heard was screaming, you heard the glass, and He came off, veered out the road, hit my truck right here. My truck rolled over, went down his hill, slammed against this tree right here. I'm sorry. Slammed against this tree right here. I tried to crawl out my truck, my truck fell right on top of me. So what was the first thing that you seen when you got to the accident scene? Well, when I pulled to the scene, there was several other trucks already on the scene, um, and I observed one overturned vehicle down at the edge of the wood line at Corinth Road and Highway 85. And how, what was the, the necessary guidelines to get the truck on top of you? Um, what we had to do was we ended up hooking it to the winch on our rescue truck and using the winch to pick the vehicle up off of you. Okay, and what was the first thing that you've seen when you looked at me? Like, how did I look? Uh, you looked okay. You looked a little dazed and confused and very scared. Okay. Nobody really had that answer. Nobody knew if you were okay, if you was alive, and that's when I pretty much lost it at that point. Um, it was just, it was really, really, really a really sad thing. It was. My daughter, I was trying to calm her down. I was trying to tell her to just go to the hospital. Everything is okay. She's alive. That's the most important thing. Injuries, I had too many of them. I had approximately, approximately six surgeries, like the same night. I had a broken left humerus. I had a liver contusion, a brain concussion. I was in a coma for two weeks. Also, we broke both of my left elbows. I had 12 fractures in my pelvis. I fractured both of my legs. And I also, uh, I had skin tears in my lip, skin tears in my face. I had skin tears in my arm. Uh, I had eternal bleeding in my stomach. And it, it, got, it got real. Um, my advice to drivers 16 through 25 would be just always be aware, don't drive under the influence. No texting, not being distracted by other people in your car. I can honestly say it changed my life because, you know, all of, you know, walking by death, you know, that's a, that's a big experience to have at 17 years old, you know, when you just now finna start your life. And it gave me a whole 360 degree perspective of life. But I'm glad I made it through and back to myself, back playing basketball, back doing everything I used to do, but just in a whole new perspective. And, uh, you know, that was... <laughs>